Hey guys, I have something very important that we need to discuss right now. Tan M&Ms. Do any of you remember tan M&Ms? I think it's a shame that most of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But I swear to you, there used to be tan M&Ms and they were my favorite. Out of the whole package, tan M&Ms were the best. But in 1995, the powers that be decided that there just wasn't enough room for dark brown M&Ms and tan M&Ms. So they did a poll to bring in a new color without saying that they were actually going to replace the tan M&Ms with that color. And they let the consumer decide if they wanted blue, pink, or purple M&Ms. And, of course, uh, blue was chosen, and the world was never the same. Now, don't get me wrong. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color out of all the colors. It is my favorite. I don't care what hue of blue. Just blue. Any kind of blue is my favorite. And it's hard to choose one specific kind of blue, but just know that I love blue. It's been my favorite color for a long time. I mean, sure, I did, you know, rebel a little and segue over to purple for a while, but that didn't last long. I always came back to blue. So I'm going to segue here and tell you a little story about when I was in, I don't know, say third grade, something like that. We had a coloring assignment. Coloring assignments, now that I think about it, sound so awesome, and I would love for every assignment to be a coloring assignment, because I would kick ass at that. I mean, come on. Give me a coloring book, and I am occupied for hours, and I'm not even kidding. But yeah, we had a coloring assignment where we were each given a um, Dalmatian color, and, uh, well, we only really had to color the collar of it, but, um, yeah, it was like back when 101 Dalmatians had been re-released or something like that, so, um, we were all given a coloring book picture of a Dalmatian, and we had to color it to go up on the bulletin board outside of the classroom, and each one would have our name on the little tag and all of that stuff, but, um, the teacher had one specific thing that I hated about this assignment, and that thing was that all of the girls had to color their colors red, and all of the boys got to color their colors blue, because blue is a boy's color, and red is a girl's color. Although technically, pink is more of the girl's color, but whatever. I don't like pink either, so it doesn't really matter. I like blue, and it really pissed me off that I had to color this collar red, and I couldn't use blue, and I tried my best and could not change her mind. I'm still pissed off about it. Anyway, I don't really remember the point of that story, except to say that blue is my favorite color, and so I was so excited there was going to be a blue M&M. The thing is, they didn't say, you know, that it was going to replace the tan. So, I got my first package of M&Ms that had blue in them, and I was so excited because it was blue. And I opened the package, and I looked at all the M&Ms, and there were no tan ones. They were just gone. It was like they never existed. They were just gone forever. I mean, tan was the best of the whole bunch of all of the colors in the package. They were the best. It's like, I mean, tan was just a prettier color. Why couldn't they have gotten rid of the dark brown ones instead of the tan ones? I even had a certain order that I would eat my M&Ms. I would always eat the dark brown first, of course, because dark brown, who, no, ew. Then the orange ones, then the yellow ones, then the red ones, then the green ones, then the tan ones. Because you always save the best for last, and tan was the best. And I promise, they just tasted better than the other ones. Their shell wasn't quite as crispy as the others, and they just tasted lighter, like chocolate air. 
and they just took that away from me. They took it away from the world, from everyone. Most of you will never know the joy of tan M&Ms, and I weep for you. And to make matters worse, I just couldn't love the blue M&Ms. Even though they were my favorite color, I just couldn't. I couldn't love them the way I loved tan M&Ms. So the first, the first blue M&M I tasted, it just tasted bittersweet. It just wasn't the same. And now every time I have a bag of M&Ms, I think of how different it would be if the tan M&Ms were still there. Like they should be. It's been almost 20 years since the loss of tan M&M's and I'm still not over it and I don't think I ever will be because boy is a blues color it just kind of melted in your mouth and not in your hand. <laughs> it's been 20 years. <laughs> it's been almost 20 years since the loss of the tan M&M. &M. Ridiculous.